Hi, and welcome to this latest immigration law update video. In this video, I wanted to look at a new case from the administrative court, which is an important judgment on Appendix EU and Zambrano applications by those who have limited leave to remain already in the United Kingdom. So on your screen is the Annex 1, the definition section of Appendix EU, and you'll see here the definition of a person with a Zambrano right to reside is set out. And there's a little B at the bottom and it says that the person must be without leave to enter or remain in the United Kingdom unless this was granted under this appendix. So if you've got leave to remain in the United Kingdom that wasn't granted by Appendix EU, for example, Article 8 leave, you can't apply uh, for, as a person with a Zambrano right to reside. This was challenged and in a recent decision of the administrative court called Akinsania, and um, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that uh, wrong, that's 2021 EWHC 1535. And Mr Justice Mostyn found uh, the, that Appendix EU uh, was unlawful in that respect. The decision was uh, given on the 9th of June 2021 but following that there's been a consent order which is now annexed to the bottom of the judgment which is very important and we'll have a look at it but really the important point from this uh, video in this judgment is that you may have clients who will now need to put in a Zambrano application. I'm recording this on the 24th of June and obviously the deadline is approaching rapidly, less than a week away for applications under the EU settlement scheme. Although there is a provision for late applications in the policy, and there's also a provision for late applications, particularly when it concerns these type of applications in the consent order at the end. But you may have clients who will need to think about putting in a Zambrano application as well as their existing Article 8 leave. So have a look at, at this judgment and the consent order, which I'm going to go through in this video. So let's scroll through and I'll point out some important points that you may want to refer to in, in any applications. So it was a challenge to a decision dated 29th September 2020, refusing an EU settlement scheme application. The judge says he has to decide in promulgating Appendix EU whether the Secretary of State uh, erred in law in their understanding of the Zambrano jurisprudence and their understanding of Regulation 16 of the 2016 EEA regulations. That's where the, the Zambrano provisions were at the time. The relief that is sought is an order quashing the decision of the 29th September 2020. But then, a, importantly, a declaration that this par little paragraph B that we looked at in the definition section, uh, Annex 1 to Appendix EU, on the definition of a person with a, a Zambrano right to reside, uh, that, that that errs in law when it says that you must be without leave to enter or remain in the United Kingdom unless it was granted under this appendix. And also a declaration that the Secretary of State's guidance of free, free movement rights, derivative rights of residence, and the EU settlement scheme, person with a Zambrano right to reside guidance, were legally erroneous, where they uh, state uh, that a right to reside under Zambrano is not available to a person who has limited leave to enter or remain in the United Kingdom. And then an order fixing uh, a, a date for quashing relief. And that's what the consent order at the end of this judgment refers to. I should say at the top of this video that the Secretary of State is appealing this judgment, so watch this space. That's why I say I'm recording this on the 24th of June. As with all my videos, please check for updates and changes, all right? So the facts are set out. Nigerian national, been here since 2006, uh, four uh, children, one of whom, a 10-year-old, is a British national. She is the sole carer, and obviously Zambrano concerns the primary carers of British nationals. She previously succeeded and was granted a derivative right uh, of residence on a Zambrano basis. Uh, but then when she tried to have the no recourse to public funds uh, condition removed, the Secretary of State said, well, Zambrano carers 
uh, are not el eligible to receive public funds, you need to apply for leave to remain under Appendix FM, which she did. She was granted 30 months limited leave to remain under Appendix FM, so I presume under the parent route there, until 11th January 2022. Uh, with no condition preventing recourse to public funds, then she made a application on under Appendix EU on the basis uh, she had a right uh, to indefinite leave to remain settled status on, on being a Zambrano carer, and that was refused in September 2020. Mr Justice Mostyn then goes through uh, the, the case of Zambrano, I'm not going to take time in, in looking at that because I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that, but have a look if you're not. And importantly, he says at paragraph 24 in the middle of the screen there, it is my clear reading of the judgment that a claim for a Zambrano derivative right of residence is not extinguished by the existence of a current limited right to remain and work awarded under national law. By contrast, I accept the implication in the judgment that if a person had been granted under national law indefinite leave to remain with recourse to public funds, then that would at any rate, in theory, be a knockout blow for a claim to a Zambrano derivative right of residence. This is because the rights claimed would be congruent with the rights already granted I say at any rate in theory, because it would be completely pointless to make a Zambrano claim in such circumstances. So paragraph 24 of the judgment, very clear and in important uh, part of the judgment. Uh, the judge goes on then to look at, at the regulations uh, as they were implemented and the implementation of uh, originally to the 2006 regulations 15A, where you were somebody with indefinite leave to remain was an exempt person who was debarred from acquiring a Zambrano right of residence. We'll come back to that. The judge then looks at some case law from the Court of Justice and he says at paragraph, th paragraph 37, in my judgment, a proper analysis of the EU cases clearly demonstrates that the court did not consider a limited leave to remain under national law to be a Zambrano extinguishing factor. Similarly, the domestic cases do not, when properly analysed, support the general extinguishment theory advanced on behalf of the Secretary of State. And he then looks at the domestic cases. He looks at the judgment of Lord Justice Elias in the Sana case, provides a summary of paragraph 40 of what Sana says, particularly note there, it, it's Zambrano right is a substantive right, not a procedural defence to deportation, and, and it confers at all times a right to stay. So he says at paragraphs four, 41, these aspects of the resident's right afforded to a Zambrano carer far exceed the entitlements granted to someone with limited leave to remain. Therefore, it is a fallacy to suggest that the grant of limited leave to remain has the effect of extinguishing a claim to Zambrano rights. I would not go as far as Lord Justice Elias to describe uh, the argument as incoherent, but it is certainly illogical. He then goes on to look at the Supreme Court decision in Patel and Shah. Obviously that case didn't answer uh, this question, but the Home Office changed their position based on some obiter comments in the Court of Appeal. So what the Home Office policy says, paragraph 48, he sets it out, and it's the fourth paragraph set out there. In the case of Patel, and then the Court of Appeal reference is given, the Court of Appeal noticed that, noted sorry, that a person with leave to remain under domestic law cannot benefit from a derivative right to reside on the basis of Zambrano. The Court of Appeal also noted that in Zambra that Z Zambrano is a, and there's a typo in the Home Office policy, not a back door route to, to residence for those who have a British citizen child without having or acquiring leave to remain. And the judge finds at paragraph 50 that the Home Office policy misrepresents what was said by the Court of Appeal in the Patel and Shah case, uh, or the Patel case, sorry, uh, and that it, it, it doesn't fairly represent the ratio of uh, the case. So he says at paragraph 51, 
my conclusion is that nothing decided in the CJEU or domestically since the decision in Zambrano supports the theory that the existence of a congruent limited leave to remain of itself automatically extinguishes a claim for a Zambrano residence. On the contrary, it is clear to me from the facts of Zambrano itself that the CJEU tacit tacitly acknowledge acknowledged that a limited national leave to remain under a wider and a wider Zambrano right to remain in many cases can can and will coexist. So again, another important paragraph. He then turns to look at the regulations. He goes back again to regulation 15A, uh, the original uh, sort of Zambrano implementation in the 2006 regulations and says he thinks actually the 15A were impeccably drafted and accurately reflected the true scope. So just having those with indefinite leave to remain as, ex as an exempt person and he says what the Secretary of State is asking him to do is effectively write into the exempt persons somebody with limited leave to remain, and he is not prepared to do uh, that. So at paragraph 73, he says, so here it is my judgment that irrespective of the true scope of the Zambrano jurisprudence, the natural, fair, reasonable and plain meaning of the words of Regulation 16 entitle an applicant under the 2016 regulations for a derivative right to reside to have the application determined by reference to the prescribed eligibility criteria in that regulation, rather than being struck out peremptorily. Uh, the existing words in Regulation 16 are clear and the proposed amendments go well outside the permissible range of meaning of those words. So you get the order that accompanies the judgment. Mr. Justice Mostyn refused permission to appeal, uh, but as I said, permission has been sought now uh, of the Court of Appeal. So watch this space in terms of what happens uh, with this judgment. And then there's this consent order at the bottom. So well done if you've watched at the end of this video, because this is very important uh, where uh, it, it provides for this. So this is the consent order that was done uh, for the quashing relief. The Secretary of State is to reconsider the relevant provisions of Appendix EU. The Secretary of State will not determine applications of Appendix EU on the basis the applicant was or is a person with a Zambrano right to reside and is affected by this judgment. So obviously, if, you, uh, if you're not affected by this judgment, Zambrano application should be just processed. But if you are, they won't be decided until the Secretary of State has reconsidered Appendix EU. I'm not gonna read C. D is important because it disapplies paragraph 34 BB, which prevents you from having two different uh, applications under the rules at the same time. If you've got a Zambrano application, and an application under Appendix FM, you're going to be allowed to do that. So 34BB is disapplied. And given that this is being appealed, uh, I think it's you've got to be very careful. I think clients need to still hold on to their leave under uh, Appendix FM and Article 8 and still need to be applying for extensions of that. At the same time, you can simultaneously apply under Zambrano because what you don't want to do is put all, you know, bet the house on this and then the Court of Appeal overturn this. Uh, then E allows for the Secretary of State uh, to provide that she will accept late applications for a period of not less than six weeks after the period uh, of uh, the period of not less than six weeks after the publication of the outcome of her reconsideration. So I don't think it's six weeks from the judgment. It's six weeks from the time she reconsiders Appendix E uh, U. Have a read of the rest of the consent order. So a very important judgment from Mr. Justice Mostyn, finding parts of the settlement scheme appendix EU unlawful and allowing those with limited leave to remain to make a Zambrano application. So well worth looking at this and seeing if you have clients who come within this category urgently. Uh, before the deadline. Obviously, there is this period of extension, but you want to get your applications in. I hope that's helpful.